Oh, how do you feel about those after-hour calls or emails from your employer? Most people don't like them, but a proposed law in Sacramento aims to give you more work-life balance by restricting when your boss can contact you. The so-called right to disconnect laws have already made headlines overseas, but if they're passed here, California would be the first state in the United States to try it. NBC Bears' Melina Jones, who is still on the clock, joins us from Walnut Creek. Melina. Put your phone down without the guilt or worry of missing something at work. That's the goal of the right to disconnect bill. In a digital world where laptops and smartphones have made work and everything else just to tap or swipe away. I get emails almost 24 hours a day. Chances are you've likely taken a work call or email or even text after hours. Because we're like so attached to our phone all the time that we don't have a lot of me time or just to prioritize prioritize other things. I mean, it would be nice to not even have the stress of thinking that someone might call you. It would be uh, probably good for your mental health. Under the bill proposed by San Francisco Assembly member Matt Haney, California companies would have to better specify employee compensated hours. In turn, employees wouldn't be expected to respond to calls, text, or emails outside that time frame. A welcome change for remote workers like Rob Hayes. Feels like I have to like set my phone silent at certain times. Um, um, not open up my computer certain times. Um, if I don't right now, I kind of feel like I'd be left behind or maybe not seen as someone that works hard. So it's really beneficial. The state's Labor Commission could investigate and fine employers for interrupting employee personal time. Management expert Professor Amira Barger believes the bill addresses workplace equity issues. We are dealing with a epidemic of burnout, and that's part of how we got here. This is a necessary adaptation as we look towards the future of work. Employees are demanding more of employers and they are demanding a new value. The bill makes exceptions for emergencies, scheduling and collective bargaining, but also aims to create boundaries in business that Assembly Member Haney says are missing. California created many of these technologies uh, that allow people to be uh, available 24 seven. We should also lead the way in making sure that we can make them sustainable for work life balance. But California's Chamber of Commerce argues the bill is a step backwards for workplace flexibility and fails to consider California's long standing laws regarding hours worked and compensation. Haney disagrees, saying he feels it actually does the opposite. Hopeful that this increases the competitiveness of California's industries and helps people make that decision to go back to work or come to work in California. In the East Bay, Valina Jones, NBC Bay Area News.